It was like sort of a, a tough lesson for me to learn. I was just totally exhausted by the end of the year working on the record. And uh... um, the other question we always ask everybody is about advice. So whether you've received any advice along the way or whether you've learned some serious lessons that you would want to pass on to other people. I mean, I feel like I, throughout this whole record process, I, I learned a lot about myself um, and about how I like to work and how I don't like to work, um, <laughs> what environment I need, like all that stuff. I feel like I've just learned a lot about um, how I like to create uh, music. I don't know if I have like a piece of advice that I've been given. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I really feel like this whole record process was like a huge learning experience for me. I, we were like in the studio every single day for two months and it was very, very difficult for me because I, I get burnt out creatively so, so fast. And I just felt by the end I had no, I had no more creative ideas to give. I was like, was not uh, having a good time towards the end. And uh, that's definitely a, a lesson that I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> I'll offer two thoughts. <clears throat> One of them is um, something that Aaron said to me when I met Aaron back when I was in high school, which was that you can't lose betting on yourself. Um, and that's like, that's just sort of been an ongoing thing in my career. It's like, I have the personality type that is generally just sort of like gripped by anxiety and sort of a, a fear of inadequacy. And um, it's like, very often a, a force that in my head is sort of steering me away from taking risks and obviously like you know it's great advice in the context of a creative career in general but it's also great advice on the level of just like you know making a decision and sticking with your guns you know whether or not you choose to speak up about your crazy ideas like i i feel like i'm so much better for having that thought in the back of my head which is just sort of like when you have like an ambition or an idea that is important to you not pursuing it is always a failure i think that like that was kind of a mentality in the room was like well either this is going to be something that people look at i mean this record is going to be something that people look at and think like wow they like really made committed decisions or they're going to hate it. But like, I wouldn't want anybody to think like, oh, they did the safe thing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is just uh, something that I think that I learned in the process of making this record and av having it take a year the way that it did, which was just that like, as a musician and as somebody working creatively, and particularly, you know, in a situation like this where Lizzie had her first record come out that we did, and it was... Uh, you know, it had gained some steam and it sort of felt like there was a lot of psychological pressure on the follow-up. Just that, like, you are the instrument. You have to take care of yourself. And, like, the, the moment that you, like, start neglecting your overall state of well-being is the moment that, A, your work will suffer, and B, like, you will just not be able to, to sustain, you know, the workload. It was like sort of a, a tough lesson for me to learn. I was just totally exhausted by the end of the year working on the record. And uh, I, it, I, I don't know, it's, it will steer me in the future. <laughs> 